Hey guys, how are we all doing? Frozen Stag here, and welcome back to the Plantagenet campaign. Now, as we last left off, we were preparing for our evasion against Germany, and we have now declared war over Lotharinga, which is this sort of section here. So, let's begin. Edward, I'll give you a quick update on the family. Edward is currently 36, not as young as his nickname suggests anymore. Adler's alright. Um, unfortunately, our love sort of just broke away, which I actually didn't even realise. But okay, that's that. So it doesn't screw anyone else. Um, so obviously, we have Prince Henry, who is 14 years old and not. And will soon eventually marry this woman. In a minute. Uh, who she's been fucking? Who she been fucking? <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, we're gonna break the betrothal <laughs> because. Yeah! <laughs> We've got Charles, who is betrothed to the Edith of Scotland. Um, so yeah, uh, William also, also is betrothed to Princess Isabel of Brittany. So that's set. He's currently 11 years old. Isabella, the bastard daughter of mine, that I obviously can tell you know about, is betrothed to the future heir of... Wait a minute. What the bloody... Art? What, the, what in the fuck happened here? Oh, great. <laughs> well, it would seem... That King Jocelyn has taken over the taken over France. Great. <laughs> Who is this? His uncle. Now we've lost our. Well, that's gonna be. <laughs> we're gonna have to go fix that, aren't we? <laughs> when we take France, we'll give it back to him. I think this is what I'm gonna have to do. But anyway, um, Edmund is uh, was born off camera. He's now two years old. He's betrothed to the Princess of Hispania. Uh, I would betrove. Hmm, I'm gonna betrove my. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. And that might give us some sort of claim to Spain, which would be handy. Uh, they are sort of cousins, but. Yeah, it's alright. It's, it's okay back then. Um, cousins back then? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> okay, she's been fucking someone else, isn't she? I, I just fucking know it. <laughs> yeah, no, my luck. <laughs> Let's hire someone to find out, shall we? <sighs> am I bringing troops over from Spain? Yes, I am. Of course, of all the people... Um, what? Oh, God. Oh, fine. Oh, fuck me. That's the guy I spared. I spared that, Matt. And he's... Yeah, you're imprisoned. You're going to jail. Fucking, where's the execute? Yep. <laughs> Hang him. My wife. You're going in jail. F yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can take the fucking vows. Because I am pissed. Go to hell, bitch. And I'll take my... Well, it's not even my child, so fuck it. Okay. <laughs> Edward is officially pissed off. <laughs> We already know Isabel isn't even mine, but whatever. We're, we're keeping my daughter. Right! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Let's solve that problem. Good God. <sighs> okay. Right, let's go over here and land over in France. And then we're just, not France, bloody Germany. Ah! Great. <laughs> Right, get joined together, and that way we can sort of join forces. And uh, I can leave my ships raised; they're not doing any nutrition. Which you think actually ships would actually cause nutrition because um, if they're all joined together like that, then you know we currently have an army of hundred thousand, which is awesome. And I think we send this army back home under the command of probably Alfred. Yeah, he do. Put you in, send you back to Britain. Now, oh, for fuck's sake, <laughs> they've already landed. God, it didn't take them long, did they? Okay, this army. I'm gonna leave myself. Uh, put Alfred in charge of that, haven't I? So I put Lawrence in charge of this. Uh, God. I'm gonna play. I can't remember all my bloody commanders. Fuck's sake. Um, Christopher can lead that. I'm gonna probably end up being commanders without 
No, I think I've done it right. Okay, I, I think I've sorted it. Alright, um, better move down there. The king will move in here. I need to loop round and land there. Let me check that, um, uh, right. Let me check which I'm in the right territory. Okay, that's, that's actually right. Okay. You can land there. You can go there and besiege that. That's fine. Perfect. I doubt I'll marry again because I'm quite content with five children. <laughs> I think that everyone's probably struggling enough with all that. Uh, be patient, son. Now we're fighting against... Oh, the HRAs in this fight. Okay. So we capture the guy at the end of that. <laughs> probably not. Where's that capital? Okay, it's like in the eastern Germany. Oh, fuck. Completely bloody forgot about that. Quick, go over there. Before I take that bloody fort and have to rebuild it again. There you go. Oh, crap. Let's hope there's not a big army coming. Oh, fuck. No, we should just be able to do it. Okay, that's... Let's get a bit, get a bit dodgy there, but that's okay. It's all good. Is that another German force coming? Yep. If things are getting desperate, we will rally my personal 15,000 levies that I have, which is always very handy. Still bloody supply limit's terrible. Supply limit's still fucking terrible. No. Can't bloody escape, can you? Oh well. <laughs> I do imagine that Germany's going to bring a big army from the east and come kill me. However, the good thing about attacking now, Germany's in a bunch of different wars. They're fighting uh, the Pest, uh, Abruzzo, some Italians, and just all that. So, thankfully, the Germans are slightly preoccupied, which is good. Alright, where's the other German army? They buggered off over to Scotland. <laughs> uh, yeah. We'll do that. Let's kill this army down here. Then we get on the boat and move up. Oh, God, there's another dumbass being a dick. I kind of feel a bit bad that I sent my wife to the nunnery, but you, if you're going to fuck someone else, <laughs> you're not going <laughs> to... Your husband isn't going to be very pleased with it, is he? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, story-wise, we're allowed to see the children and, you know, we're allowed to raise the children and stuff, but, uh, yeah, we're not, certainly not, I could have just released her, but, fuck it, I'm, I'm angry. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I kind of feel a bit guilty. Fuck it, what we're going to do is we're going to invite my wife back to my court. Is, well, we're going to do that. Um, we're going to... Cheat a minute, and we're going to get my wife back because I know I my wife's a bitch, and we're not going to make her a nun. <laughs> Which uh, you're probably thinking, no, you can't do this. This is a uh, this is a uh, cheating. No, uh, you have to uh, accept the consequences. No, you're not. I'm the fucking emperor of the fucking Roman Empire for fuck's sake. <laughs> if I want to, if I want to release my w um, former wife from the nunnery, then I bloody well can. <laughs> Um, I don't think, uh, I'm sure the pipe pro won't be very pleased about it, but I don't know, oh, for fuck's sake. I hate getting the wrong bloody order. I am the fucking king of the... I am king, and I will do as I damn well please, thank you very much. I don't think anyone's going to stand up to the bloody... Alright, you can, you can stop being a nun now, you can, uh... You can raise your children, and... Yeah, I'm no. Yeah, I mean you don't have to serve the cloth anymore. You're pretty much done. But um, you want to fuck the other guy? You can fuck his corpse. <laughs> Where's this going? <laughs> I don't know why you're going away round, but all right. Go around Moray and just cut him off. Siege of Cleve. How that's, how is that going? Okay, that's going well. And why am I leading the army over here? I thought I'd want to be leading... Okay, we're going to change commands a minute. And put myself in command over here. Uh... Okay, now let's swap my commands around. I have too bloody many of the buggers. I can't <laughs> manage them all. Alan. Guy. Who else has left? I'm signed. I've no bloody. No, it's this guy. Right. Okay. Actually, he's a siege leader. No, he's not. 
I don't know who I saw it was a CT. Then okay. Never mind. I'm talking in shambles. Who's this? My wife. Well, I'm gonna allow her to remain for now. I'm gonna talk to her and tell her that we can you can remain in land and all that. <laughs> to do so. Nah, she's uh we're not exactly very pleased with her because she screwed someone else. I hate her. So obviously I wouldn't be screwing each other. I will get a no, just to, that's sort of the way I'm doing the whole um fucking me fuck me, we're gonna lose this one, hopefully not. No, but we're okay. We are fighting him in the Kaiser and combat. So, let's hope we kill him. <laughs> or at least take him prisoner and end the whole war. But, uh, just no such luck. Okay, now they're going... Probably down, back down to York. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> How many times have I got to take my bloody fort? Alright, we'll get down to Durham. Durham. Which I went there holiday this year, actually. <laughs> And we're still besieging Germany. Is, is everything done yet? No, we're still nowhere near done yet. Let's go on. Take, kill that army while they're pestering us. There's quite a lot of German forces turning up. Uh, okay, let's... Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, I'm going to have to call my personal levies just for a minute. Right, you can join in and help, and that finish them off. I got into quite a lot of debt earlier in the game, or I didn't say um a few years ago before the war started. I managed to get out of it just in time, though. They're gonna get all went to Scotland again, aren't they? <laughs> That's all right. We'll wait for them. Hmm. Well, we're just gonna besiege all that, which shouldn't take too long. Other than the old skirmish back home, we should be okay. Hey, my son's come of age. Oh, he's got really shitty military skill. Okay, let's uh, put him in command, which could probably end horribly. But uh, I will get my son some better command. Uh, who's the really shittiest commander I've got here? Probably this of He's probably really old, so I'm going to put my son in charge. And we're going to put... Uh, let's put who we're putting now. Okay, let's uh, stick you. Uh, who was it? Simon. Yeah, you can go in charge of that. Simon's now come of age, so that's good. Um. Oh, did I mention that Alfred the Wise? Yeah, I think I. No, no I didn't. Uh, he died clutching his heart, and then his son sends to the throne. So yeah. Was that the girl that I previously married? No, who did I marry myself to again? Yeah, it was that girl. Okay. So. Hopefully that will get my son some better command. I will put him in charge of his own force. Let's sort of balance this out a bit. Let's sort of, actually tell you what. We'll get my son to lead the main army. And I'll put myself in one of the flanks. Uh, let's take you out. I don't know if they're even coming. <laughs> I'm probably, I've probably already got up here and they're not even coming this way. Now, do we want any other commanders down here? Do we have any spots open? Yes, we do. I'll take him. That's fine. Who's the bloody hell's this? Oh, some bloody Swedish is, is attacking my territory. Uh, I thought I named Henry my commander. What happened there then? Oh, he's got bloody rash. Oh, great. <laughs> he hasn't even been in command very long. All of a sudden, he's got the bloody rash. No, I think they are coming this way. Okay, that's good. Let's go there, then. And we're still besieging this. Nothing's happening. Siege Re Reese. Reese? I don't know. Oh, good. Um, Brittany managed to take this. That's handy. That's good of them. Let's see if those what those three thousand troops are doing. I don't know what. No, you don't. Still on that. Um, Charles asked if a tree falls in the woods and nobody there to hear it. Does it make a noise? Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> Think about it, kid. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> they have. They've gone there. Actually, have they? Okay. That's that's fine. Let's cut them off here. Yeah, go there. No, we've just no. They're just south of us. I'm gonna probably move down and attack them as well. Okay, we beat beat their army. That's good, and we're close to winning the war. So we're besieging that one might do it. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. That's that one, and now we've got all that. Perfect. Awesome. Beautiful. <laughs> We've carved a nice whole, nice um, border wedge between Germany and uh, France, haven't we? We've carved that as well. Okay, that is perfect. All right, we're in, we um, better stand down our troops. Okay, victory is ours. That went quite well. We're obviously going to be very much threatening. Good luck, 91% threatening. Oh, the amount of bloody people in um, our defense. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, Philip died. Uh, died of dysentery. The same fate of our father, sadly. So now Edward is now in charge of Wessex, which is all good. Uh, so now the question is, who do we give Lothringer to? Do we have any settlements? Yes, we do. So we can sort of choose who we give it to. That's good. Um, I could give it to one of my sons. I think it's probably only right to give it to one of my sons. I'm, n I'm not too sure. I probably... William, because he's the oldest, is probably the better choice. And again, he is betrothed to... Mm. I'm thinking if I gave it to someone young, it wouldn't be... Well, from a story perspective, it would sort of be under the charge, under the command of myself, I'd imagine. Uh, but obviously, yeah, as I'm thinking, probably William's the best option. Although I could give it to Charles. We'll wait till we, another two years, and then we'll come of age, and then we'll give it off to him. Obviously, Henry, I don't really want him having it. I could give it to Willie. I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking Charles, because he's the oldest. Uh, yeah. Yeah, probably. It's probably the best option to do. If he doesn't inherit the throne, he doesn't inherit the throne. I'm not obviously really bothered. Now, we will have a truce with the Germans till 1557. So, we'll like, probably... Attack them again, <laughs> and I can we still do those invasions because they are they are quite I kind of cheaty. I don't know if we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> uh, if we do, we will do the claim on France uh, as we can. Uh, I think that'd be perfect. Uh, so yes, we're uh, probably skip ahead a bit now. I'm not worried about getting married again. I have enough children as it is. Um. So we will. Oh, she's married again. Okay, I thought she would have stayed with us. Okay, I imagine. Well, but, um, yeah, France. Now that, I want to take France back. In the name of, uh, if we did, yeah, like I said, if we do retake France, I'm going to give it to probably my nephew because he has more claim and has Plantagenet blood. Um, so yeah. Uh, what other kingdoms we have around here? I imagine that's just it. The Holy Roman Empire has been officially smashed to pieces. They've got a lot of land, though. And they are still quite the threat. Do we have a... Can we do that with Spain, by any chance? No, we have a, a pact anyway. Okay, so what we will do is skip ahead. Uh, it's probably last bit of recording today because it's getting a bit late. And, well, I can probably do it. Some till 10 o'clock, if you apologize for that. Anyway, guys, uh, we shall skip ahead. Okay, I've got a very odd offer. Uh, so, it's from the Juliana Ironside. He's betrothed to marry me because her husband's dead. And I'm thinking I might accept. Um, mainly reason being is just, I don't know, we can never have enough Plantagenets. I mean, we currently have 90... Well, pff, to be honest, <laughs> there's, there's no limit to the... And they actually think about it... Um, Oh, she's currently pregnant with... Hang on a minute. Hold, hold up. Hold the phone. No, she's pregnant with Baron... Okay. All right, that's, that's fine. She's got lover's pox, so... <laughs> probably a good idea. I don't know. Edward's young. I mean, he, he probably wants to marry. So, from a... I don't know. He's a... He's very chaste. I'm going to say he's desperate to marry, but... 
I'm sure he's probably been advised to marry again from his counsellors and... Um... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think... I, he is my cousin, so I don't think I'm gonna, like, not say... I um, don't know. <laughs> Lover's pox is starting to make me concerned that she's been screwing someone else. But interestingly, Martin, we're gonna inherit a castle over in France, which is a bit odd. But it's fine at some point. And, uh... I don't see the harm in it. So, fuck it. Where Maria is matrilineal, so, yeah. And it does bring any Iceland. And Martin is probably going to look up to me as sort of a father now. And, yeah. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Um, We have a private conversation with that. See if we can fall in love with the girl. Um, she haven't missed much. Uh, just, just me pretty much preparing for uh, an attack against anyone else. My first person to accept the damn alliance with me. Let's try and seduce the girl. See what works. Hey, it worked. <laughs> Very nice. Which, uh, no doubt, that makes Edward happy anyway. So that's all good. Uh, what have we got up here? God, we've got a bunch of stuff to assign. So, cut bearer, we're going to give to my nephew. I feel like that's probably wise. Uh, Simon can have that. The Seneschal can go to the King of Wales. Royal Custodian can also go to probably King of Brittany. Master of the Hunt to King of Aragon. Keeper of Swans to the Iceland. So pretty much all our Lord Paramounts have got land. Court Physician can go to my Court Chaplain. I feel like that's probably a wise thing. If I had too many damn things getting screwed. Wait, is she celibate? No, she's not celibate. Of course she's bloody well not. <laughs> Silly of me. But, uh, yes, we will be waiting till when Charles comes of age, we'll immediately grant him the Kingdom of Lotharinga. Who's this? Not oh, some... Who's been fucking what? No, oh, just a... Okay. <laughs> For a second, I thought it was my son, and I was going to be pissed. But we do have another bloody claimant uh, attacking me, so we will deal with that. I imagine we'll probably win that very fucking easily. Uh, I'm really not uh, bothered, mate. I am actually in that society now. The holy, lo lo the um, uh, the highest rank. So that's good. So maybe if this guy dies, I might get elected, which would be cool. Now we do have quite a few. Damn, we have a lot of members. <laughs> 172 members. That's good. But like I said, uh, we will skip ahead. Nothing to really show you. This is still going. So yeah. Oh, my wife's got. So my wife's gonna bleed, die of dysentery. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Charles Williams didn't, turned out okay by King Christopher. Edmund's alright. He's only four. She's okay as well. I think we might actually... In, uh, okay, she's had twins. Nice. <laughs> keeps uh, keeps the family strong just in case... Um, hang on, is it fucking Galva kind? Yes, it fucking well is. <laughs> Can I ask her to go? Probably no. Yeah. All right, that's fine then. I'm, well, I'm okay with that actually. You know, um, doesn't make her too powerful. Yeah. You know. We'll educate. If she's, no, she's not even bloody let me. Okay. <laughs> we'll see if we can educate this kid. And uh, as a sort of, uh, I'm. Basically, their father now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Norwegian live there, uh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay, we'll record this as we haven't had a liberation revolt and I don't think we've been ha encountered one before, actually. Where are you? You imagine you're. Where in Iceland, I imagine? Yeah, okay. Welcome and rally here. It's utterly pointless. Okay, let's rally these guys up in Scotland. And. And what be how many how many men were there? Okay, that should be more than enough to defeat them, I imagine, hopefully. Uh just to be safe, I'm gonna send up some troops from Ireland as well, just in case uh they somehow beat my forces, in which case would be very stupid. Can you get in that boat please? I've just clicked on you five times. <laughs> right, go up to Iceland. Let's go kill some fucking Danes. <laughs> Must the revolt risk is probably must have been quite high. It's not too bad anywhere else. Oh, seat fortifications has been done. And Whitby, Whitby's turned out quite well actually. 
Who's that? No, it was um, the woman who had the bastard. Oh well. I'm not overly interested. <laughs> I'm honest. At this point, uh, the Plantagenets, we have so many members in the family that we're just unstoppable. <laughs> Which obviously, when you get to a point in the campaign like this, you do become quite powerful. And to the point where uh, things start to become, don't become that fun. Which obviously does make sense. See fleeing down there, yep. Yeah. There will be no escape for you. Hope to get my son some more command points, which would be good. We're getting a bit of nutrition up here, but that's because it's fucking Iceland, for God's sake. And that army, one unit's joining me, great. Can we call in some more commanders? We can. Good, we can call them the Duke of Lower Lorraine, that's handy. Oh, I do like to appoint my family members with uh, higher points. By the time we finish this war, this bloody adventure is going to turn up. He is quite a good commander. But his uh, men are made up of just rabble and just, yeah. Should beat him in this. And he's in Iceland, so he can't go exactly very far either. Let's go on here. Let's just say. Okay, that's victory. Okay. Let's uh, send him off to a holy order. Uh. Two time corner, I guess. That'll do. I'm not too picky with that. Uh, but yes, we will um, skip ahead to something interesting. Right now, nothing's happening. I'll probably give this to my son off camera. And actually, he's going to be. Uh, give it to him off camera. But anyway, guys, uh, we shall skip ahead. Well, maybe I shouldn't have married because I've just given birth to. My wife's given birth to a fucking inbred daughter. Fuck me. <laughs> That's really not good. Uh, but I will edu obviously get someone to educate her. We'll get um, my son to do the do duty. Uh, obviously, I'm not too bothered who she marries, to be honest. Uh, I kind of am, really. Um, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> honestly. Uh, you can marry that bastard. Alright. <laughs> the bastard and the fucking inbred. Brilliant. Uh, that seems good enough for me. Oh, uh, but yes, we can birth to a like, inbred door, which isn't wonderful. But there you go. <laughs> right, let's give my son. Oh, look at Charles has turned out perfectly. And look at my fucking son. <laughs> it's just my luck, isn't it? Oh, well, no, he's got some ginger hair, I believe, probably from his from his mother. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's, hang on a minute. <laughs> hang on a fucking second. Yep. He's is my son. Okay, let's uh, I'll turn that off now. Now, but let's let's uh, marry him off to the Scottish girl. It could be. Ah, oh, bloody hell! Here we go. <laughs> this bloody Ragnar wants to take that. Why? <laughs> it could be uh, the problem with doing this. I'm thinking is that if if this guy dies, then bloody he's <laughs> then he's gonna inherit Scotland, and I don't want that at all. So I'm thinking if it might be safer to get to my son William. Oh my, Charles is going to be outraged. Because <laughs> I'd imagine story-wise, I've obviously informed him that I'm giving him this. So, oh, he's going to be pissed. Oh, I've got this guy still here. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't want Scotland to inherit. Then again, this guy, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is a Dutch dude. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> All my kids are, like, in the way of inheriting stuff. It's not... I'm going to give it to my fucking son, Edmund, at this rate. <laughs> yeah, we're going to give it to my son, Edmund. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, uh, Cleve, you can... You can have Julek or Sarsbrook. Cleve is probably... Sounds... No. That... You, yeah. We're going to give it to Edmund. <laughs> Which I no doubt my other sons are probably very pissed off with me and have probably ha won't speak to me for a while. <laughs> but fuck it, this is the only way for um it to work out better than we already have. So, yeah. <sighs> Let's get out some commanders. But uh, hopefully he does a good job. Is he still might being educated by Alan the Messi? Okay, that'll do. He's not really in the line of succession, so I'm kind of fine with that. Now, now, obviously, uh, Edith, my other wife's children will live in Iceland, so. 
But obviously they visit court stuff. I'm not going to bother recording this. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. Uh, I'm sure he's got a decent army, but where are we in this? He's over in... Oh, for fuck's sake. I can't be bothered to show that. I'm sure you guys aren't too bothered. But uh, the next in line, once we once this truce runs out, which will be in 1557, we will go and attack Germany and take Vermindos from that and give it to probably under the control of Lotharinga. Then again, if it's part of that, I'll probably leave it independent. And then eventually give it to the Kingdom of, of France later on. So, uh, yes. Anyway, uh, we're in this episode off here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, it's been quite fun. I'm obviously quite enjoying this series. It's a lot of fun. What the fuck? Why is he in Ulster? <laughs> okay. What? Oh, okay. What's happened here? Okay. What? Oh, yes. I completely forgot. She died. And I'd imagine that she's inherited. Okay, that makes sense. At least the King of Scotland has inherited. Thank God. Thank the Lord. <laughs> so, okay. I don't know why I told him to come to my court. But, okay, that would seem that, um... Oh, God, no. <laughs> okay, he's not actually in the succession. That's fine. Fuck me, it's a lot of kids, isn't he? But, uh, yes. Yeah, so she's got also now. Okay, that's interesting. But, anyway, alas, that is the end of this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you later. I'm probably done for recording today. Um... Yeah, I'll beat this guy off camera, and, uh, yeah. We'll probably come back, probably, when we're attacking Germany again, I'd imagine. Over that little land of France, there, which I mean, not even bother showing, because we easily win. We've won before, and it's over a tiny piece of land that's not really interesting. But anyway, guys, I will see you later.